e kuba prophet zata ambula yeka kuba atali yeka Yesu yatambula ngana abantu 10 na babiri olusi na abantu nsavu mbabiri abayitizwa nga abayigirizwa kati nafe prophet azowa kutambula yeka abira ko na abantu abamugoberera ila tujja na ye ila tutambula na ye ato kwa ukana ko ne jali mbai bible ye gawanti strike the ship the shepherd and the ship scatter fe bo kwata ku shepherd ate the ship gather okujja okubira ne no musumba wafe so no rain song eyo tuino okujja ila bwali omuno muno de mulala bwali bwajja wano nete tusubira kwa tukiziganyiza nabo nti tagenda kudda wano a ligo team ye baba lo yabe bagenda okujja wano ba kulida be bagenda okujja baba na babeta kati baba ino musangu ba mvunana tuchegere ne kati echo kujjo kwe uba wano buli olukedde tichigena kuberawo a ba kulida be kabaje bachikoleko Uh, my name is Simon Senyonga. I'm one of the legal representatives of uh, Prophet Elvis Alan Mbonye. Um, well, we were summoned on the 21st. We came here for an investigative meeting. We came here on the 28th and the Prophet was given bond. And today we have showed up and the bond has been extended to next week on Monday. Now, the legal implication of that is that the client has to be available. However, we have agreed with them that we have been cooperative on our side legally and they haven't been cooperative. So. The prophet will not be able to be here on Monday, but the legal representatives will be here to represent him in the bond process. I think our collaboration was to the extent of the wording of the summon that we were given. The summon we were given was for the prophet to come here and help the police in that uh, investigation and to also clarify whether those accounts were his. Now clearly those accounts are not his and it is their work to investigate. So it's not our work to investigate who, who can do the police's work. So in regards to what we are called to do, we have done it, but in regards to their work, they have to do their work.